Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How's everyone doing out there tonight? Well, it's great to see you. Great to see you. My name is Robert Cochran. I'm a filmmaker. And you go, what is Robert Cochran, a filmmaker, doing at this Parkinson's meeting? Uh, there's a film called Boys of Summer that I've made with my father, who has Parkinson's. And that's something I'd like to share with you a little bit about. It's actually more than just a single film. It's become a documentary series. And it'll give us something to talk about what it does, what it did, what it's doing, and what it will do, and hopefully how it involves all of you. So with that being said, please take a look at the screens, and you'll get a little information about Boys of Summer, the documentary series. My dad was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease in 2001. We lived out a lifelong dream just three years later, road tripping 20,000 miles to all Major League Baseball stadiums on less than a shoestring budget in just two months. I made Boys of Summer, an award-winning documentary from our journey. We met fellow Parkinsonians, worked with the Michael J. Fox Foundation and National Parkinson Foundation, all the while exploring this great country of ours. The rally cry for Parkinson's at the time was a cure within 10 years. Sadly, as we all know, it hasn't arrived. In 2014, with no cure, people asking me, how is your dad? And a new generation in the form of his grandchildren now coming to understand and ask him questions of their own, we set out to make the sequel, Second Base. In it, we move beyond the question of a cure to the reality of quality of life. We explore advocacy, caregiving, and different ideas of what health means. We look death square in the eye and tell it what we want when it arrives. We show the value of community, improvisation, and how one man took control of his disease, providing an inspirational example for others. The sequel has been embraced by dozens who have seen it in the handful of private screenings we've had since May 2017. The reviews are up on Rotten Tomatoes and are certified fresh the Oakland A's hosted a screening for their season ticket holders and invited me to throw out the first pitch the next night. Boys of Summer, second base. The genetic biotech company 23andMe will host a screening next month. As we continue to push second base, we are also in the process of creating Shortstop, the third film in the series. In Shortstop, we'll revisit Major League Baseball cities and continue to seek out the best programs for Parkinsonians, caregivers, and medical providers. We will participate and document them, then bring them back to Las Vegas to make life better for those in our community. We want to share our story with you and, even more importantly, hear yours. Join us at our gala screening here at the Lou Rubo Center for Brain Health, coming soon. All right, so there's Boys of Summer, thank you. Uh, we are going to be here at the Lou Rubo Center in April. We're getting the exact date, but in honor of Parkinson's Awareness Month, we'll be screening that second film, Second Base, that we talked about there. And we are in the process with Shortstop as well. And that's where, again, hopefully all of you come in. I have cards available with the website and information to give you the exact in time, uh, date and time for that screening, and also ways for you to get involved. One of the things the trailer mentioned of the many programs I'd like to get here in Las Vegas is an improvisation program for Parkinson's. How many, by show of hands, how many know what uh, improvisational theater is? If you've seen it or participated maybe a little bit, maybe you've seen Whose Line Is It Anyway? Very fun, um, very interesting, but did you know there was a study done by Northwestern and Second City, the big troupe who started most of improvisation, uh, done at the beginning of 2017 where they showed the positive effect of improvisational theater upon Parkinson's patients and the caregivers. So that's something I'm going to directly be starting very soon, and those who would like to come and play and see what improv can do for your uh, sense of well-being and just have some fun with us, uh, please find out more information again through the website. We'll keep it all through Boys of Summer, and we'll be doing that with a friend of ours, uh, Marty, who I believe is here tonight, and she runs the Rock Steady over in Henderson. There she is. There's my friend Marty. So we'll be doing that very soon, again, based on your interests. So those are some of the examples, dancing programs we have in Vegas. We're going to hopefully expand on those. Uh, we will also be doing voice-type programs, expanding on those. Anything we can find across the country where they're doing great programs, things that maybe we haven't heard of yet, say, why doesn't Las Vegas have them? If we can have something as beautiful as this, 
we should have programs for everybody involved with Parkinson's, the caregivers, those who have it, and uh, the medical providers as well to get the best, to show that Las Vegas is a world-class city. All right. So if there are any questions, I, I would gladly take those right now. Uh, if not, that's, that's not about me tonight, so I'm not trying to take the focus. But if there were any questions about anything you've seen, let me know. If not, again, I'll have the cards up front for you, and please come say hi to me as well. I'd sure love to meet you. I'd love to hear your story, because the more stories we hear about Parkinson's from an individual level, I think the more we all understand it. We go, oh, that's me, or oh, that could be me, or oh, thank goodness, I understand more about that, so when that happens, I'll know more about it. I think from a community standpoint, we can all learn a lot, and we can all love each other, and do better with Parkinson's, all right? Thank you for your time. Enjoy the evening. Thank you very much for being here, and thank you to the Lou Center for allowing me to speak.